Gould. De Bruyne, accélération des Diables Rouges. De Bruyne, Origi dans la surface, Origi, Batshuayi oh Pour Origi, parti dans le dos de la défense, ce ballon. Euh... Alder Wereld, Divock Origi. C'est bien fait avec De Bruyne qui va vouloir frapper. Ça prend Landé. Toujours avec les encouragements de, de Wilmots. Vertongen et la parade de Radetzky. Hazard. Force for Origi. For Lainey. Now Aldevaro with five waiting for a cross. And it was a good cross too. And Baccio is your typical target for it. Yes, he's got a little bit more pace than your prototypical number nine. But throughout the year in all competitions in France, 23 goals. Unlucky for that. I just wonder though, as a player, why would you sign or do anything before the European Championships? We're hearing about Witzel and Stoke City having conversations. Yeremenko, you're gonna get, I think, good players will look at this and think, I'm in a shop window. If I play well, I can get a really big club. Do I necessarily is gonna start the opening game? One would expect Romelu Lukaku to, to lead the Belgian line. This is Tim Spav. And in towards Hemelainen! There's a shock! Kasper Hemmerleinen has just provided a Belgian wake-up call for Belgium going forward. And now all of a sudden Belgium's on their heels defending. They're sleeping, a couple passes getting through, and Hemmerleinen beats Vermalen near post. Simple finish. Just lackluster defending from Belgium overall. So much of this comes through stringing four, five, six, seven passes together, which is something Finland hasn't done all game long. But more, be a little bit quicker in those tight spots. Fellaini on the back post. Now the third set piece, second in this second half that we've seen. Not often in Fellaini's career will he be that wide open and miss the target. Was switched to Portugal after the attacks at Brussels Airport. It's a good run and a poor finish by a player leaning backwards. Ted Wilmot is watching both fullbacks for their club center backs, for their country fullbacks. Aldeverald and Vertonghen just have their way in the space in front of them. They look more and more comfortable delivering. Kevin De Bruyne. And for Lady. Wide areas, wide. Mark Wilmot loves Fellaini coming out of the midfield. You're dealing with one striker in Benteke, but now when your center midfielder is so strong in the air, it's difficult to pick up a player coming out of the midfield. Fellaini finding himself wide open again on a header. They made it by virtue of being co-hosts with the Netherlands. Performance runners up in 1980, beaten by West Germany in the final. Good ball in, helped on by Ben. Just more incisiveness though from De Bruyne. It's immediately a cut and then it's played in, so now it gives Mertens. All the way to Vertonghen. And Benteke. But watch Marcus Halsty from Finland as this ball's delivered just over his head. Just a little bit of a touch throws Benteke completely off. At some point here, these dangerous balls played in from either Vertonghen or Aldeverald will end up in the back of the net. The way led to the criticism. Vertonghen. Witzel. That's a good shot. And again, coming off Vertonghen, overlapping, getting to the goal line. Delivering a great ball back. You love this touch and pace from Fitzel. Aldevero that's had his chances going forward, missing just wide. And that's De Bruyne. Great ball in, but Mert to every right to be furious with this because he's free. 
coming in late. Tori Vetonger. Dries Mertens. And Radetzky just presents it to Romelu Lukaku. And Belgium have found their lifeline in the penultimate. In goal for Finland. In the one ball he probably should have dealt with throughout the entire game. The easier of all the saves and chances. Not punching that over the bar. That ball dips from Dries Mertens. And Lukaku in the right spot at the right time to get his 11th international goal for Belgium.